Right, there's been a bit of a, I don't know, um, kind of a couple of glitches today and I'm a, a bit late and a bit behind and it's because I've been making this, okay, um, I'm still looking at edges and kind of loops and different ways of joining seams because I'm thinking about when I do the next Embroider Embellish Create class and I've made so many of these cloths now, I think, okay, I can make them and there's nothing wrong with them but I want to push myself and try and extend what I do with those and how they appear. I don't want them all looking exactly the same. I still still want them to be a, like, for example, I still want people to be able to look at them and know that they're mine and know what they are. But from a personal point of view, I feel like I should be pushing myself a bit more. I'm a bit annoyed with myself that I've kind of got into a rut with that kind of thing. Well, I feel I have. So I'm trying to develop the seams and do different things to the seams. So this was looking at that, and it's some padded applique with these wrapped cords going across in various like placements, etc. And then these look like bullion knots on this seam, but they're not. They're um, they're tiny wrapped cords as well up down the seam. But for some reason, I don't like it. I can't get my head around it, and it just doesn't do anything for me. So I wasn't going to just put pictures of this on the blog today because to me that would have been a terrible blog post and I wouldn't have expected anyone to be interested in that. So it kind of threw me a bit. That was my plans for today's blog out of the window. So I thought, oh, what am I going to do now? And um, that's my phone ringing. I'm going to ignore it. Um, so, you know, what will, what will I do now? Now that I don't like that. So then I went back to my muslin thingy, which is here. And this needs to, the two sections need to be joined, okay, before I can uh, line it, put a lining on it for when it actually gets the stuff in it. So this is what I've done this morning, is I've squared it off and I've joined the two sections together. Um, so once that's joined together, I'm just distracted by the phone. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn my mobile off in case they ring my mobile as well. Then that doesn't disturb me either. Okay, right. I'm going to be not contactable now by the wider world let's see what happens so my two sections that i've made are now pinned together so what i have to do now is tack along here then i have to do some kind of decorative stitching to secure it in place because i will, will not do this bit on the machine i will do it by hand and i'm perhaps thinking just running stitch just so it's secure and it's pieced together and then i'm wondering how these loops okay move it in sorry how these loops would look coming across the seam so I'm possibly going to be investigating that later today and then when that's done it can be lined I'll put some plain cotton on the inside line it and then it's going to be kind of constructed like this the front will look something like this with the opening a third of the way up the front and not in the middle just because that's a personal thing that's how I feel I want it to be and the opening will be quite soft i'm not going to i've had so many people say do this for the opening do that for the opening but i don't actually think i want any fastenings because i'm thinking if i stitch up if this is the front and i beautifully stitch here and here and just have an opening a soft opening without anything else to worry about there in terms of loops and um buttons or puffs or anything to catch on those loops i think it will be sufficient to just have an opening without any fastenings. So they're my plans, and that's kind of why my day's gone a bit haywire, really. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing later on. I've got a stack of ironing to do, family ironing, so I'm going to do that first. Then I'm just going to concentrate on this for the rest of the day, because in terms of domestic chores and earning my keep and pocket money, etc., the ironing is all I have to do. So, and then this will be getting my full attention. So probably tomorrow you're going to be seeing how I'm progressing with the edge of this. And that's all because I've made this sample. It did take me quite a while, but I just, I just don't like it. And I'm not going to throw it away. I'll keep it, but I'll keep it as a reminder of something I didn't like in case it crosses my mind to do it again. Okay.